The PPM3 Portable Differential Room Pressure Monitor from Abatement Technologies measures and records negative and positive pressure differential for construction and renovation projects. The intuitive technology makes it easy to use. It has the capacity to record and store a large number of interval pressure checks, alarm history, and setting changes in the history log. It has an ultra-tough molded polymer case for protection, clear polycarbonate view window so the case can remain closed during use, a color touch screen display, built-in visual and audible alarm system, and up to six months of operation under battery power. The main display of the pressure monitor is the pressure display. It contains the current pressure information for the area being monitored, a silence button, and a menu button. We'll start by setting the date and time. Going through the menu button, go next to the general settings. Then we'll select date and time, change date. The settings can be changed with the up and down buttons for each item. The save button will save the date and exit back into the submenu. You can follow the same procedure to change the time. The back button will exit back to the submenu. Now we'll set the password. Select general settings, passwords, and first password enable. Enable the password and save, then enter your four digit password. Hit OK, enter it again, and after the exit button, you'll be prompted with another save password. The system setup menu provides access to all the options for configuring the way the pressure monitor functions. The pressure settings menu allows the operator to change the settings for measuring the differential pressure. Select room types and you can set the type of differential pressure to be monitored. The options are positive, negative, or unoccupied. Select room limits to set the pressure alarm. If the room type is negative, anything above the set pressure limit will cause the system to alarm. If the room type is positive, anything below the set limit will cause the system to alarm. Room altitude allows the altitude of the room to be set. This allows the system to compensate for the altitude and helps improve sensory accuracy. Through system setting, you can access the alarm settings. First, you can enable or disable the audible alarm. You can then access the alarm volume to choose how loud you would like the alarm to be. As always, be sure and save your changes. Through silence delay, when the silence button is pressed, the alarm will be muted for the duration set. The range is from 0 up to 300 seconds. Alarm delay will work the same way. When going through other settings, you can scroll through to key press beep, which will enable or disable the beep upon button press. You can also control the screen brightness and through unit settings, you can control how the units are measured either in inches of water column or pascals. Interval recording controls how often the monitor will take data. Job number will give you an identifier in the log for which reading goes with what job or which room. The administration menu provides information, calibration, restoration, and upgrade functionality of the pressure monitor. Through calibration, you can calibrate after applying zero pressure to all pressure inputs and waiting for the differential pressure to stabilize. The operator will be prompted to press a button to continue. Restore factory default restores all the settings to the factory default. Firmware upgrade allows the device firmware to be upgraded via USB. Check the system information screen to verify the software version. The history prompt allows the user to view the log history. You can view it either on the screen of the monitor You can download the history, either a certain amount of days or the entire history. And clear history will wipe the history clean. The monitor can be run either by battery or AC power mode. When in AC power mode, the unit will not turn the screen off. Be sure and plug in the AC power cord or the unit will continue to run on battery. When the monitor is running on battery, the screen will turn off, but the data readings will continue.
The audio icon on the screen will tell you whether the audio alarm is on or off. It's important to protect your pressure monitor by installing the inline filters somewhere in the tubing on both the room and reference ports. This prevents dust from reaching the sensor and damaging the device. The inline filter can be located anywhere on the length of the tubing, but locating it on the end of the tubing can help keep your entire length of tubing clear of dust and debris. To set up the monitor for negative or positive pressure monitoring, the Quick Connect connects directly to the monitor. Attach your tubing to the Quick Connect. Make sure that the arrow on the filter is pointed towards the monitor. Then just snap the tubing onto one of the ports. Repeat the same procedure for the other tubing. We do not recommend simply leaving the end of the tubing on the ground. You can simply tape the end of the tube to the wall to avoid these kinds of problems. The PPM3 comes equipped with alarm contacts. These are normally open, normally closed contacts that could work with an external device, such as our PM dialer, to provide remote alarm capabilities. For more information, refer to the instruction manual. The PPM3 has a USB port for on-site firmware upgrading and for downloading the archive history. The monitor can be hung on the wall with the available brackets. And it can also be secured by adding a padlock. That's a look at the PPM3 Differential Room Pressure Monitor from Abatement Technologies.